for season nine of Archer, we're going to Danger Island. Danger Island is a place where anything can kill you. You can sink in quicksand. You can be attacked by a giant Komodo dragon. We wanted to take the show in a bit different direction, kind of a lighter, funnier, brighter season of Archer. Things have changed from the late 1940s to the 1930s. Visually, that's a pretty big jump backwards. We're going to be in planes a lot, which we haven't done too much of. It's very bright and beautiful, and they're on the beach, and they're in the jungle, and there might be a revolution. Also, the island is just one giant volcano. We've been doing a lot of research looking at old movies, reading old pulp comics, trying to get the feel of an action-adventure comic book. Why is everybody pissed at me? I'm the one with no parachute and a plane that can't land. Uh. Ah! The thing that's changed the most out of the last nine seasons is the characters themselves. Lana is Princess Lana Lua Kalani. She's kind of a revolutionary. Cheryl's still Cheryl, but she's just a little bit loopier than she was before. Imagine taking a character that everybody loves, Dr. Krieger, and saying, you're now a parrot. When you're about to hit the ground, you just kind of go Limp? Oh, right. Like, this guy doesn't know what limp means. Am I right, ladies? Crackers! Oh, my God. Mallory's still very much the boss, but instead of running a spy agency, this year she's running a hotel. Pam become this completely different entity. She is now nearly six foot five and muscular. I cannot wait to find that verdammt idol and get off this scheisse island. And why am I speaking English? Ray's changed quite a bit, too. He's no longer a cyborg, but now a policeman. Archer's going to be classic Archer. He's just kind of a dick and always causing trouble, except now he's a one-eyed pilot. Maybe you really are immortal. <laughs> uh, that'd explain a lot. Oh. You fat bitch. We're going someplace that we've never been before and doing a genre that we haven't really tackled before. They're a lot sillier, their occupations are different, but they're still the same dysfunctional family that we've grown to love. We're giving you a show that you've never seen before. These are the base characteristics of these characters you've come to love. Now we're gonna throw them into totally new and different roles, but you're still gonna recognize them. And for a TV show, that is truly monumental. I hate this!